Hey geeks, quick video here today. If you have the newest generation Ryzen 5000 series processors or even the 3000 or earlier series, you might be wondering how to enable the smart access memory. This is an option that changes how the memory is handled with the processor and the motherboard and enabling smart access memory can actually improve performance in gaming and in uh, productivity tasks. Now, it's a little different to enable this setting on different motherboard brands, but generally speaking, the process will be the same. I'm gonna walk through it on my motherboard and system and MSI, and then I'm also gonna show some screenshots of other manufacturers so that you can see what the setting looks like with Gigabyte, Asus, and others. So let's jump into it. So I do want to point out that on AMD's website, it officially does state that the requirements for enabling smart access memory are that you have an AMD 500 series motherboard, a 3000 or 5000 series Ryzen processor, and an RX 6000 series graphics card. You'll also need the uh, AMD Radeon software driver 20 Point one one point two or newer, and the latest motherboard BIOS based on the AMD AGESA 1.1.0.0 or newer. And I'll throw a link to my video on how to update to the latest BIOS right up here. And with that said, I do know that some 400 series motherboards have been updated through the BIOS to accept the smart access memory upgrade. Um, and so it will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer and board to board. Always double check your specific board information to make sure that it is compatible before you try to turn on the smart access memory. If you look down below, you'll also see that it gives you a quick how to enable cheat sheet that basically tells you to enter the system BIOS and go to the advanced settings make sure that you enable above 4G decoding, and then you enable the resize bar support as it shows in the picture. Sometimes it'll be called smart access memory, sometimes it'll be called clever access memory as we'll see. You'll need to check your specific motherboard vendor to see exactly what the options look like in the BIOS. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is restart your computer. Go ahead and start tapping that delete button so that you can get into the BIOS settings where we're gonna make the changes. Let's check it out. All right, once you're loaded into the BIOS, you're just gonna move around into the settings area. This is the easy mode, or you can go to the uh, advanced mode if you'd rather. It's easiest to get to this setting if you go to easy though. So let's go back to easy mode and then settings. Then you'll go to advanced. Then you'll go to PCI subsystem settings. Then under the resize bar option, just make sure that it is enabled. And that's it, your smart access memory is on. All right, now that you've seen what it looks like on my MSI motherboard, let's check out and see what it would look like on a Gigabyte. Now again, yours may look a little different depending on your software version and all of that, but basically here's the setting you need. On Gigabyte, go to the advanced mode and under settings, you should see an option for resizable bar. Just make sure that's set to auto or enabled. Also make sure that the above 4G encoding option is enabled as well. On ASUS brand motherboards, you're gonna go into the advanced settings as well, then go into PCI subsettings, and you'll see an option there for above 4G encoding, make sure that's enabled, and resize bar support, make sure that is set to enabled as well. On ASRock branded motherboards, you should see a similar pattern here. Go into the advanced settings in the motherboard and enable either resizable bar or what they call CAM, clever access memory, which I think is what they call it on their 400 series boards, but it'll either say smart access memory, clever access memory, or resizable bar. Make sure that option is enabled. And again, make sure that encode above 4G is enabled or set to auto as well. After you've done any of these methods, just go ahead and restart your computer and you'll have access to smart access memory. And again, you could see some gaming performance with this option enabled. Sometimes you may see no difference and in some cases you may actually see a small hitch performance. But enabling smart access memory doesn't seem to have any downside and the upside is potentially much greater, especially as things go down the road and uh, we're able to get more features built around this option and the drivers become a little bit more tuned. If you ever need to turn it off, you just simply follow these directions in reverse and disable this option in your motherboard settings. 
Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to let us know in the comments. And if you still have any questions about this topic, be sure to ask that question in the comments and I will answer it personally and maybe even make a video about your question in the future. Thanks for watching.